a gay man in Arizona, found himself starting the new year on a low when a man on Grindr pretended to be a sugar daddy and stole his identity, but he can't report the fraud because of the partial government shutdown. Dot. Hello, I'd like to know if you will be my sugar baby, the supposed sugar daddy said in his initial message, offering to give Tan Hill $500 twice a week. Dot. Dot. The two engaged in a conversation, with James asserting that he was FG rich and a millionaire, while also asking about Ten Hill's social security number and credit cards. I'm gonna be taking care of all your responsibilities from now on babe, James claimed in messages. James then transferred $2,480 to cover Tan Hill's bill. Before the payment was processed, I was obviously suspicious, and when it processed, I felt, okay, good. This is legit. I actually have a real and legitimate sugar daddy. Tan Hill explained to BuzzFeed News. Tan Hill then followed his given instructions and applied for several credit cards. I felt he did me this favor, I might as well spend at least $1,000 to be paid back again. No worries, I assumed, since the payment went through the first time, he added. Next, Tan Hill spent $1,000 on Google Play Store gift cards on Walmart. But James grew increasingly agitated and demanded that his new sugar baby buy more gift cards. The young man wasn't responding fast enough to the messages and the next day, James blocked him on all forms of communication. The money was retracted a few days later. I just realized I needed to block him and cut off all communication and report this as soon as I possibly could. Whenever this shutdown ends, or any other way, Tan Hill explained. He was also contacted someone claiming to be James' account manager when he was informed that the payment was reversed. Tan Hill rushed to contact his bank and attempted to make a report with the Federal Trade Commission. But because of the partial government shutdown, he wasn't able to get any help. Share this article. Share. Hey, at Real and Aldrum Somuerto in Texas, has my social security number right now, but thanks to your government shutdown I'm unable to file a fraud and identity theft report. Some assistance would be much appreciated, he said in a Monday tweet. Identity theft was the second most reported consumer complaint in 2017, with 14% of complaints geared toward the issue, according to the FTC. Credit card fraud was the most common type of identity theft that was reported by consumers. The FTC websites list two places that victims of identity theft can go to report their grievances, identitytheft.gov and ftc.gov complaint. Dot. Tan Hill isn't a singular case in the latest round of identity theft. Others took to their social media to also voice their disappointment in being unable to get assistance in handling identity thefts. Somebody trying to steal my identity and the government shut down so I can't report it to identity theft, claimed Atcha Veteran. Ben Cohen added, it's cool my identity was stolen, and because the government is shut down I can't access any of the tools at http colon slash slash it's great. 
The sentiment was shared by Jess, who said, Hey, at Real Donald Trump thanks to your effing government shutdown I cannot report my identity theft to the feds and I have to wait and see what else this asshole will use my information for. Thanks for nothing you joke of a president. Number bring back Barack number not a president. Tan Hill would share updates to his whole ordeal, including snaps from his Instagram, where James appeared to have found him. James Edward, as he was called on his profile, called the man a thief. The James Edward Instagram profile was private 